So hello everybody. Um, just wanted to give you another update uh, on Chad Gaspard. In case you didn't know, a couple days ago Chad Gaspard uh, was out with his family at the beach. They are having a good time uh, when he suddenly, him and his son got uh, taken away by some riptides that were really strong. Um, Shad told first responders to save his son first, which they were able to do, but Shad has officially gone missing, and up until now, he is still classified as missing. Um, current reports are still coming in. Uh, they did say that he has, he was submerged, you know, he submerged underwater. Um, and there were eyewitness accounts that are still just coming in. Uh, someone made a post on um, on Reddit. They were there. They were there um, on the day of the beach, like on the day everything was happening. And it states the the le uh, the letter on uh, Reddit states, "I was there." I was body surfing and started to come in as I noticed a lifeguard presence congregating on the shore and I saw someone heading out. As I came in, which took forever as the tides were inc incredibly strong, I noticed the kid fighting against the waves and the guard headed towards him. When I got to shore, two surfers were pointing and screaming, a scream I'll never forget, and I realized uh, there's another person drowning. I could see him bobbing next to the surfers, so I pointed and directed a guard towards the surfers outside the break. The guard went in, the surfers continued to wave, and eventually more and more search people came out. Once I saw people in snorkels, which was probably about 10 minutes in, it was obvious he wasn't going to turn up alive. Cops showed up, eventually helicopters. I talked with the surfers and they said an adult went under. I felt awful. I was wondering if I should have helped the kid to shore so the guard could have focused more on the father, but I didn't want to intervene and now the kid's father is dead. I'm going to let it rest as I was powerless and I didn't want to add to the mess. The waves were really nasty. I've body surfed my whole life in San Diego and today I was being cautious. I was worried when I saw the whole families out. I needed to see this posting because I felt weird all night and bad because I technically could have turned around, swam past the brakes, and maybe saved a life or drowned myself. I don't know. It's sad. I left after 40 minutes of helicopters flying low over, over the water uh, assisting in the search. I saw the mom hear her husband not turn up and I saw her run down the beach looking for him. And I saw a kid sitting on the shoreline with a look. He knew that they were past the point of finding his friend's dad alive. It was harrowing to see the reality unfold in a family. In a family, a loved one didn't return from the ocean. I go to the beach one fucking day and this happens. So... I know that probably some people will give him flack for it, but it's probably better that he, you know, didn't try because as was stated, the waves themselves that day were very, very bad. They were very strong and um, he himself could have gotten caught up in this and it could have been another person that would have gone missing as well, uh, despite what his actions might have been. Um, and the Gaspard family has come out with an official statement today uh, via Twitter. They said, We would like to express our gratitude and, to the first responders who rescued Arye. I'm, Arye I, I apologize if I butcher the name. And to the lifeguards, Coast Guard, divers, fire and police departments for their continued efforts to find our beloved Shad. Shad is a fighter, a warrior, and a magical soul. We are hoping and praying for his safe return. As a family, we thank you all for the concern and well wishes. Please continue uh, to keep sending positivity and prayers to our beloved Shad, the Gaspard family. 
So within each passing day, it does not look to be uh, good news for Shad Gaspard. As more and more details emerge, uh, it does not look to be uh, particularly good. Um, the only thing that we can really do is just hope and pray that he comes out alive. We're just hoping and praying for good news. And if there are any more developments, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted because uh, sometimes these things fly under the radar. Um, and I just want to keep you guys posted if uh, you hadn't heard it, that this is a place that you can hear it from. Um, I don't have anything else. This just, again, it's really sad. And, you know, hopefully there's some good news. Hopefully there's some good news. Um, that's all I can say. Um, so I've been Samuel D, a.k.a. The Excellent Reviewer. I'll see you all as soon as I can. Make sure you guys are staying safe out there and... This story is like a sobering reality. You know, tell your loved ones that you love them because tomorrow is not guaranteed. So stay safe out there, you guys, and I'll see you all as soon as I can.